all animals. Faceless fish found in the abyss. Australian scientists have discovered a faceless deep sea fish off Australia's east coast during a month long expedition. The sampling the abyss expedition begins from Bell Bay, Tasmania, and ends in Brisbane. The investigator research vessel is equipped with multi beam sonar that can map the structure of the seafloor. The expedition surveys the abyssal level, up to 6,000 meters deep in the ocean. Sleds, dredgers, and grabbers are deployed in order to collect samples of animals and sediment. Scientists said animals in the abyss are often small and move slowly, and many of them don't have eyes or produce their own light through bioluminescence. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more monsters from the deep. Researchers discover angry octopuses turn darker colors. Scientists from the University of Sydney have discovered how octopuses communicate with each other by changing colors, including identifying certain poses that indicate a complex system of social signals that the marine creatures use to interact. After studying 53 hours of octopus footage, researchers concluded that the cephalopods turn a darker shade and try to make themselves appear larger or taller when they're being aggressive, and turn a lighter shade or make high contrast patterns when they're trying not to start trouble or if they just lost a fight. Darker octopuses will stand their ground when facing off with a lighter colored octopus. As you can see here, the octopus has taken a Nosferatu pose named after the vampire film. There goes the loser of the fight in a pale flash. This is the first study of a system of communication among fighting and high-fiving octopuses. In this clip, notice how the darker octopus chases the lighter ones away in a show of aggressive behavior. Octopuses have cells called chromatophores below the surface of their skin that allow them to change color. Diver gives monstrous great white shark a high five. If you saw this enormous shark swimming right up to you, wouldn't you scramble into your cage as fast as your flippers could carry you? Not this guy. A video that's making the rounds online shows what might be the largest shark ever filmed underwater. In it, shark expert Mauricio Hoyos Padilla exits his cage to high five the beast. The great white shark, named Deep Blue, is an estimated 20 feet long. The average great white measures roughly 14 feet, still more than twice the diver's height. Deep Blue was first spotted off the coast of Mexico's Guadalupe Island during Discovery's 2014 Shark Week filming. The team managed to tag Deep Blue, whom they estimate to be about 50 years old. The team, which included Mauricio, says the shark was pregnant at the time of filming, meaning she was likely super hungry. Mauricio, you're lucky you've still got that high-fiving hand, and the rest of you. Scientists dissect one of the world's largest squids ever found. In December last year, a colossal squid was captured near Antarctica by a fishing vessel from New Zealand. The squid was dissected on Tuesday in a live webcast by scientists at the Auckland University of Technology. It was previously believed that the squid was male, but scientists discovered it was female and found thousands of eggs like these in her mantle. The colossal squid was captured last December, about 1.6 kilometers beneath the surface in Antarctica's remote Ross Sea by New Zealand fishing vessel The Sand Aspiring. It was placed in frozen storage on the ship and later transferred to the Tapapa Museum in Wellington. The squid measures 3.5 meters in length. Each of its eight arms are about one meter long. Its tentacles were damaged during capture, but both are believed to have been about two meters long. Its intact eyeballs are the size of dinner plates. This is one of its lenses. The squid weighed 350 kilograms. Scientists obtained most colossal squid specimens from Patagonian toothfish lines or in the guts of their predators, the sperm whale. Colossal squids use their beaks to catch toothfishes, one of the largest fish species in Antarctica. The tentacles have hooks, some of which have three prongs, and some of which can swivel. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Great white shark eaten by mystery sea monster. Scientists say they're mystified after a great white shark appears to have been devoured by an even bigger mystery sea monster. 
Researchers in Australia had tagged the Great White to track its movements. Four months later, the tag washed up on a beach less than two miles away. Data from the tag showed a sharp rise in temperature and a sudden 2,000-foot plunge. Scientists say the temperature rise means the shark was in another animal's digestive system. The only explanation so far is that it was eaten by a giant cannibal great white shark. A really, really big cannibal great white shark. The case will be featured in Hunt for the Super Predator, a documentary scheduled to air in the U.S. on June 25th.